Hey guys, Jujutsu Boy 98 Twister Don here. Thank you for tuning in again. Here we are with Bloodborne PvP. Man, I'm giving you my first impressions of the PvP in this game. And first of all, I'd like to say that this game is like Dark Souls 1, but Dark Souls 1 on crack cocaine. Man, it's like this game is like 2 to 2.5 to 3 times the speed of Dark Souls. Same kind of controls, but man, this game is so fast paced. So here we are. I don't even know what this area is called. It's like one of the first areas of the game. I'm not leveled up that high. Of course, these guys are not leveled up this high. I just wanted to try some PvP out this night, so I got the uh, equipment. Here I am PvP, and guys, let's do this. I've got the uh, uh, running R1s going on this weapon, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to get the running R1s going like they are. To simulate the Chaos Blade from Dark Souls 1. But man that's not working out for me here. And uh, I have to switch off in the torch. And you know this guy is firing a lot of uh, ammunition on me. And something that I realized about this game man. The guns mean a lot in this game man. The guns are so powerful. Because you can get a parry really easy it seems like. And you, on this game man it seems like the stamina is so important. The stamina man. Because you can roll at least 10 times with uh, a stamina of like 18, 19, something, something that you begin the game with, man. You can never roll that many times in a roll in Dark Souls 1 or Dark Souls 2. So stamina is important, and there I get the victory on that guy. But stamina is, is important, but, but really when you level it up, will, will it go up? Will it scale that high with uh, the ability to level up and be able to roll and dash as you are doing here, man, this is so fast paced, and we'll see in the next few matches, man, you'll see how fast paced this game is, and I'm, I'm having fun with this game, man, the PvP, and the, or the PvE is awesome, the PvP is pretty fun too, I haven't done a lot of it, this is all the PvP I've done, and here I am uh, using the same weapon, and I'm fighting uh, someone very similar. Of course, early on like this, man, early on like this, man, you're, you're facing people that have the same equipment as you. So, uh, it really comes down to, it really doesn't come down to anything, man. This is just me highlighting some of the PvP and some of the stuff we could look forward to in the future. I don't know, man. There's got to be some weapons. There's got to be some skill. There's got to be some talent. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm a lot, I'm, I'm happy with the, the coordination of the game. I'm happy with the ability to, the, to control the character the way we do. And it's so fast. Uh, the, the the way that you control stamina, like I said before, is is crazy. Stamina, like, stamina doesn't even matter hardly, it seems like. But, I mean, that's just an exaggeration. And that guy parries the fuck out of me and kills me. Good game there, buddy. Good game there. But, like I said, I don't want to exaggerate the stamina. I know I, you can't judge a game on day one. For sure, for sure you can't judge a game on day one, but I'm super excited about this, man. And here I am, you know, trying to PvP on the first day, but I know better than that. I've got a PvE, you've got a PvE. And I'm not in any kind of hurry to get into PvP on this game, don't get me wrong. But here I am, you know, just trying to showcase a few of my matches, guys. Don't get too analytical about this, man. You know, as much as I want to, I'm a very analytical person when it comes to PvP and Souls games especially. Um... Excuse me. Uh, I want to I want to commentate as much as possible on the strategies and tactics I'm using, but it's not possible. I'm just uh, day one. I'm just PvP in here, and um, I, I actually some of the strategies and tactics I'm using is I'm actually trying to hit that running R1 because it's so long, it's so it looks so effective, and it's been so effective in Dark Souls One and Dark Souls Two games. There, I hit a high speed parry. I love it, man. I I think though, man, though. In this game, it doesn't seem as effective because you can dash so much. You can you can hit that circle button, and and, and it doesn't even. I don't know. It seems like that R ones are so easy to avoid. Even eh? running R ones and stuff, because you have so much stamina to dash. But here I am throwing out some more uh, gunshots, trying to get another parry because this guy's just spamming R one. But it, the first stages of PvP here in the beginning seem to be like. Me wanting to have some bullets, me wanting to have some ammo, and me wanting to shoot this guy and try to get a parry, man. Because it seems like everybody's so aggressive. They want to punish me. So I don't know what what it 
will develop into should I, you know, level my character up to be a gun based character? Should I level my character up? Well, I mean, how should I level my character up? And it's really undetermined at this point. I know vitality will increase my health, endurance will increase my stamina, so I'm doing that. Strength will allow me to use certain weapons that, that are new. But really, it comes down to me getting through this first playthrough, getting some equipment, getting the weapons, and then after that, making another character and uh, really just, uh, I guess, leveling up to the weapons that I like, basing my character off of that. Uh, but after the you know the first playthrough, stuff like that, you know, I'll I'll learn more about the game and stuff. And here we are with another PVP match, and this guy just jumps out. Of nowhere man he's got the same kind of equipment I've got and here we are 1v1 and and uh, he's using the same weapon I'm using and all of a sudden I get a high speed laggy parry man and I fuck it up man I mess it up man and that just gets me killed just gets me killed and uh, th this was just an opportunity to, for me to just jump into some random pvp you know and, and try it out like i said earlier man it seems like it's dark souls but like like twice the speed or at least two and a half even three times the speed man i, I think it has better potential than dark souls 2 just because of the fact that it's so the controls are so much better man i can feel like i'm actually in control of my character when i hit the roll button i roll and hit the dash button i dash the stamina the endurance it really concerns me it really concerns me just because there's so much. Anytime you dash, anytime you roll, anytime you roll, it doesn't take that much stamina. And I'm, I'm I'm very afraid of just a dash PVP game where you just dash all over the place and it, it comes down to just random hits and stuff. And and I'm not gonna say that that's what it is. I don't want to judge the game because I think that we have good potential here, guys. Especially with Miyazaki making the game. So this is just the first impressions, guys. So far, my first impressions, I love the game PvE. I love the game PvP. Man, and I'm just having a lot of fun with it so far, man. I'm streaming. Uh, if you want to see more of these kind of videos, man, you got to check out my stream. It's uh, twitch.tv uh, slash twisterdon. I'll have the links down in the description below. Of course, sub to me if you like my stream, and then follow me on Twitter, man. Twitter, uh, Twitter at Jujitsu Boy ninety eight, man. I have links below. But thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate your time, and let's get some more Bloodborne.